Okay, so welcome back to another episode. This is coming out very late because I had a ton of trouble with making the intro. I had something come up. I had attempted to do this on time, and I did a couple of tries on recording this, and I couldn't fix my problem. But now I have. Don't worry about it. It's not very common to have huge problems like this. But let's get started. So. Before you do anything on this kind of intro making, or editing, you may call it, you will want to go to your internet browser. And whenever you go there, you're going to, one, have to download a copy of the software Blender. If you do blender.org, hit, it, hit enter. The link will be down in the description, and you just have to install it and you are able to have the 3d animation software and hit this button right here and it will download choose the computer that you want choose a dot zip or an installer choose which state you're in or uh, which country you're in and what kind of computer you have 62 or 30 uh, sorry 64 or 32 you can use for Mac or Linux or source code or anything anything that you really need to download just download it and then you're going to want to go to YouTube now this is strange but I am not very good at animating so what I do is I go to YouTube and search up blender intro templates space mega download hit enter and the reason why I specify mega download is because I have this thing on my computer that protects my computer from viruses and what it does it does not let me download Mediafire and I don't trust Mediafire at all anyways so oh sorry blender where did I do there intro templates sorry but once you have your video that you want so let's say we're going to go to this video for instance you're going to associate the numbers in the description with the ones up here you can skip the ad if you want and you're going to want to find a download of an intro template that you prefer choose whatever one uh, once you have it so let's say this one mega is 100% virus free I trust it all the way you just got to click that and then you will have to wait a little patiently the page will have to load because it has all the files and you'll see this M with the cloud in it and you'll have this thing that's loading now whenever you're downloading it from mega you can download it with mega sync or download it through your browser and now once you have the intro that you want this is the intro that I'm wanting to make for felt diamond if you open it up then you can see that there will be something like this or let's just move that out of the way to scroll you zoom in and out or whenever you scroll the mouse wheel you scroll in and out if you hold shift and press down on it and move around you're basically sliding from one side to the other now if you just hold down the mouse wheel and move it from side to side you're just panning around wherever you're focused on if you hit zero, you will enter the camera. So, hit zero, make sure that you're in the camera. To know that you're in the camera, there will be this dotted box around you. And hit shift A. And you're gonna have to go into your add-ons to enable this. But, to do your logo, you're gonna have to go images as planes. And then, what you're gonna wanna do is choose the one. I recommend it, it is a PNG, unless your logo is square. But if it's a PNG, you can actually have a transparent background. And if it's an oval logo, it will be it will actually look oval and all that stuff. That would, that would um, make it look a whole lot nicer. So that is it. And make sure on the bottom left, it is this. The settings are just like this. Hit import images as planes. Then you're going to have to rotate it maybe right there. Nope. Hit R and then Y to rotate on the Y axis then type in 90 and you can see it's looking pretty nice now if you hit the period at the number pad 
it will focus in on that object and you can move around it and stay focused on that one thing. So hit tab to enter edit mode, then hit E, and then hit X, so you can move it from side to side. If you do it this way, it'll look a little funky, so I recommend just doing it where the whole thing still is white instead of black and dark grayish. So move it back, and then you will be able to render this out, and that will be your logo. It, you won't be able to see it right now, but if you actually come down here to this white circle, you can go to rendered. And you can see that, that black on the edges won't be there, but it will still look pretty nice. So, now go back to your solid. And as you can see, this little box thing I moved around by left clicking. If you hit Shift S and then cursor to center, you won't have to worry about that, about accidentally pressing things. But I don't need that because I already did. I already made one. So hit zero to look at the camera and then hit control F12 to start rendering the animation and I'll be back as soon as I am done.